Okay, here we are again with Darren from Absolute Koi. Good to see you, Darren, young Hi, man. Joe. So what have we got for us, Darren, and well, who's got, this young man? Yeah, we're very excited. We've got Ben Ash over from uh, MGM Pumps. Hello, um, young man. Colorado, he's flown in, especially for the show. Okay. Um, we've uh, got Zeds together, and we're bringing sequence back into the UK. Um, okay, yeah. We've got the distribution, um, and we are also rolling it out to other um, retailers and yeah, yeah, wholesale. Yeah. So, um, I'd like to uh, introduce you to Ben. Ben's going to talk you through some of the uh, exciting things that's going on. And more in particular as well is the, the running cost. You know, yeah, yeah, has yeah. Been, um, That's uh, important today when you look at a lot of people it's struggling. It's always had that embedded in its, in its very fabric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, yeah. But without compromising the quality and the longevity. But it's getting really important. Um, so if I'll pass you Come on in, Ben. Let's, let's, let's have it. What have you got for All us? right, yeah, thank you. No, appreciate this opportunity. Thanks, Darren. Um, yeah, so as, as Darren said, Sequence Pumps has always had a focus on efficiency, yeah, yeah. longevity. That's always just been like our, our product backing, you know, for total cost of ownership. Yeah. Um, there's a number of different ways you can make a product efficient. Uh, yeah. We tend to do it with low RPM motors, enclosed impellers, right. tight tolerance within the pump end. And those factors, along with pump selection, how you, where you choose to operate the pump, yeah, yeah. will impact the longevity, the service life of a pump. So, so, so what are these two here then? So this one would be the Sequence 1000 series, which is tried and true. We've been selling these in the UK since the 90s. Yep. Um, and then this one would be the 750 series, but it's a bit different being that it has a permanent magnet brushless DC motor. Right, okay. Okay, and it also has a speed controller to give you the vari variable so speed. So you can turn them down. How far can you go down? Do you know that? Or? Uh, yeah, yeah, we can go as low as 600 RPM. What's that um, in watts? Or is uh, that wattage, that's well below 50 watts. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, and, mad, it's mad, really, but today, people, when they want to get pumps now, they've got to consider the wattage. Do you know what yeah, I mean? of course. The speed, you can go, oh, it does that, but... If it's doing like 300 watts, then now hold on a second, I need to get the wattage and the speed quite nice. Yeah, yeah, of course. So, yeah, so, yeah, so we can go down to 50. So, and what about the size of these? This one here looks like it's a. It's a, inch and a half. So, inch like, and a half in. Yeah, inch and a half in, inch and a half out. Yeah, and it's that one. Two inch in, inch and a half out. Right, okay. Um, and that's just a function of, of how it develops pressure and, and flow. I think the, the biggest thing, you know, to consider when you're doing a variable speed pump or not, yeah. is, I mean, here in the UK, I just learned this, but you guys have had a 600% increase in your, your uh, energy costs. Yeah. Yeah, and right now I, I looked it up. Our country yesterday. don't produce much oil. What's that? Our country don't produce much oil. Yeah, well, you know, it's <laughs> happening everywhere, but even more so to, to the point that you need to pay attention to your yeah, operating yeah. costs, Yeah, oh, definitely, right? yeah. At, at 54 pence per kilowatt hour, you know, that's a que a question though, is it, what's the controller for this one here? So Does right it have now, a controller? This is just it what we call synchronous speed. So one speed. One speed, single speed. But you can integrate a controller with it. You can, yeah, yeah. I'll say, okay, you can integrate one on that, lads. Yes. On the other one, it comes with its own controller. It's already integrated, yeah, which is a new product. Again, yeah. the, the beautiful thing about this is that it's a DC motor, so yeah. it's not like variable speed technology which yeah. is kind of an industrial technology. This this is, all you have to do is vary the voltage and you get an RPM change. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. It's quite compact as well, isn't it? Very much so. It's, a, it's When this can get up to 3,000 RPM, yeah. it covers a big footprint of hydraulics. So you can get up to 20,000 liters. I think, I think some of them, um, I think the flow frame, some of them are about 3,000, aren't they? I think. 3,000 RPM? Yeah. Yeah, I believe they, they turn up yeah, to so that. Yeah, so you look at the size of that, it's not exactly massive. So to put it in your pump house is quite a simple thing to do. Indeed. And it, yeah, and then obviously on here, that will be the some of the figures that you have. Yeah, so yeah, just a, a plot. This is actually relates to the, the 1,000 series. Yeah, the one on the upside there. Yeah, oh, and, yeah. Oh, and we haven't got it for the other This one, one would be an 18,000. But you can see, you know, if you look at our wattage curve, even at the full full out, you're at about 250 watts. This yeah, no, unit goes good. to 80 watts. Well, that's the maximum what it goes up to. At sink at 1400 RPM. That is good. That's great. Oh no, yeah, no, yeah, I think I think my um, I've got a uh, 
high fill pump. Yeah. That's running at um, 2,000 RPM and it's doing 300 watts. Yeah. So, it is, yeah, it's different. No, no, it, that's really good. And this is this is a sequence which you can get from um, Darren, Hood, Darren Absolute, at Absolute Coy. Coy. Yeah. So, if any of you guys want to get hold of these pumps or get more information, we thank Ben for coming over all the way from Colorado to obviously show what he's got. Um, if you need to get one, give Darren a ring at Absolute Coy and I'm sure he'll be able to help you out on that. Oh, thanks for that, Ben. Really and good to see you. It. And give Cheers. our love to the USA. You got it. Yes, right back at the USA. And you.